Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. So in this video, we will be learning about different data types in SQL. So in the previous video, we started with the playlist on SQL and we discussed what is SQL, what are the advantages of learning SQL. Now, SQL is designed for relational databases, okay? It is a query language that is used to access information, retrieve information or uh, construct and create relational databases and even set up their constraints and so on. Now, we all know that relational database consists of tables, okay? So, relation basically refers to tables and each table consists of rows and columns. Now columns are also known as attributes and each attribute, see columns are the vertical lines or the vertical collection of values that are present in the table. So this is the first column, this is the second column, this is the third column of the relation and so on. So say it is a database containing student names. Sorry, it is a database, con if there is a database containing student details, then the first column or first attribute is the student name. Then the second is the course in which the student is uh, studying right now. Then the third is whether he or she is using the transport. The fourth can be whether he or she is taken the hostel facility or not. So these are different columns that define each row or each student that is present in that database. Now, each column has a fixed type of values and that type is known as the data type of that particular column or attribute. So data type is nothing but the type or the kind of values that are present in that particular column. Okay. Now each column will have a fixed data type and all the values will pertain or will follow that particular data type. For example, if we have a data type named student name say s name then the data type if we are storing as character that means only alphabets can be uh, present in this each each value of student name then this restriction will apply to all the values that are present in that particular column or attribute now if we have a put, uh, an attribute named age in the student database then we we can put a restriction that all the values that will be present in the age attribute will be of numeric type and that to an integer. We can also put a further restriction that it will be a positive integer or you can also specify the range in which the valid age of a student in your case should lie. Okay, so this is the data type what we will be studying in today's lecture. So data type means the type of values and why do we need to know what type of values a column stores so that we are aware of different operations that are valid for those particular values in that attribute. Say so for example, if, uh, if the attribute student name is of character type, then we know we cannot perform arithmetic operations on this particular attribute, but arithmetic operations can be performed on the age attribute. Similarly, we need to know what what kind of values each column stores and that is why we need to study data types in SQL. Okay, now data types are mainly of four types in or SQL supports four types of data types. First is care, the second is var care. I will explain each of them shortly in detail. The third one is uh, you can say int. The fourth one is date. Okay, then there is another data type that is a variation of the numeric type. That means it also stores values in numbers, but it is the float data type. Okay, now coming to each of these data types one by one. The first data type that we will be studying is the CAR data type. CAR has a format something like this. CAR of bracket N. CAR N basically means that this data type is containing values belonging to the character class. That means if a particular column is declared CAR type, then all the values in that column will only have characters in them. No numbers are allowed. And what is N? 
n specifies the length the maximum length that is allowed for each value so the maximum number of characters that can be present in each value say if we are specifying a, a column or an attribute of char5 so char5 means that all the values will be belonging to either the alphabets the symbols and so on and the maximum size can be five characters that can be stored in each value so if the student name is declared char5 we cannot store a student name that is more than five characters this char5 will reserve space only for five characters okay so this is the first point that you remember you must remember about this data type that it is a character data type it will specify or fix the number of places depending on the value of n now i mentioned a word fix so character data type is a fixed length data type now what do you mean by fixed length see once you have specified this particular value of n the these many spaces will be reserved for each value in all the cases that means if the column which is of char type say char5 has 10 values right then each of the 10 values will be having five spaces that can store the characters see a student name can be of three letters also like uh, somebody named j a student name can be of four letters also say somebody named anil and a student name can be of five letters also there can be student names beyond this length also but we will won't be able to store them now in these first two cases not all the character positions that were reserved that means five character positions were reserved in our case but only three or four are being utilized in the first two cases so what happens is the remaining blanks or the remaining positions which are unutilized are filled with blank spaces the remaining positions are filled with blank spaces but it is fixed that the the value n that is specified will be reserved for each and every value present in that attribute okay now this leads to a wastage of space because if uh, we are reserving large uh, number of uh, spaces for each value and in most of the cases the values are smaller than the total space reserved then in that case uh, a lot of memory is wasted so this drawback is overcome by other data types we'll discuss that also so the third point that you must remember about the character data type is that it uh, the value of n can range from 0 to 255 so a maximum length string that can be stored when a uh, when a attribute or a column is declared of the char type is that a character string of maximum length of 255 so you can reserve 255 spaces for each value when you are using the char data type okay so uh, these are the three points that we did for the first type of data type which is the char data type now coming to the second type of data type that we have to study in excel it is known as the var char data type again the same format holds in bracket you specify the value of n now again var char is basically referring to variable char so as i mentioned that there is a wastage of space in char data type when the all the positions reserved for each value are not filled that is why we use the variable character or var char data type n is again specifying the maximum length that is allowed for each value so if now in this case our variables s name the student name is declared as var char 5 okay instead of char 5 var char 5 is declared and we have a value like j which is not filling which is not filling all the five spaces two spaces are still left so in this case var char will not fill these spaces it will only allow three spaces three positions or spaces for three characters so the remaining remaining positions which are unused will not be allocated in the first place okay so 
the maximum val the maximum space that can be allocated is specified by the value of n but the actual space that is allocated depends on the value so in this case if we have a name say anil only four spaces that means four ca uh, ca uh, spaces for four characters will be uh, reserved and one last position will not be allocated. So there is no point of wastage here. Okay. The third point, this was the first point that it is known as variable character. This is the second point that it is not a fixed length data type unlike the char data type okay so you can write it down in your points that it is not a fixed length data type it is not like char okay so uh, this is the second point that you have to remember the third point and last point is just like the char data type had a value range for n in this case n value can range from 0 to 65000 535 so you can have the largest uh, length uh, value that can be stored is 65535 coming to the third type of data type that sql supports is the integer data type which is in short referred to as int okay now for each integer value Oh, it is fixed that four bytes of spaces will be reserved by SQL. So there is no concept of specifying the length in this case. If a particular column or an attribute is specified as an integer, then each value will have uh, four bytes reserved for it, four bytes of storage. In case your values require more space so there is a provision of a data type known as big int but hardly it is ever used big int is allowed to store eight bytes for each value okay but in most of the cases integer suffices int char int is a numeric data type so you can write it down in this that it stores numeric values positive values also negative values also and the range of values is very large you know it can range from crores of values negative side also positive side also the third uh, sorry the fourth data type that we have to study is the date data type now date data type stores the values that is in the form of date and these dates have a fixed format that means the dates will be stored in y y y y m m and dd format that means when you store a uh, when you have a column or an attribute having the date data type then all the values will ha will have the year written first and in four digits then the month will be specified at the second place in two digits and then the day okay so say if today the date is say 20 january 1980 there are many ways of writing this date this is the first way another way is 2180 so here the four uh, values complete year has to be specified and it has to be specified at the very beginning then we have to specify the month and that two in two digits so we cannot just write one like this and then at the last we have to specify the day okay so this was the fourth data type which is the date data type now coming to the last data type the last is the float data type see in does not allow the integer data type does not allow decimal points okay the values which have decimal points and uh, uh, digits after the decimal points are not allowed in case of integers it only supports positive and negative uh, integral values okay so if we want to store decimal points and we want to store them with a lot of precision then we can utilize the float data type that is provided by sql okay so these are the five different data types that you must remember that are present in sql and are provided by sql so that's all for today's video thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam